Hi everyone. This is a quick video on how to read your child's MAP data. So MAP is a test. It stands for, MAP stands for Measure of Academic Progress. Your child takes this test three times per year. They've already taken the fall one of 2023 as this video is being made. Um, and they will take it again in January for the winter um, test and then in April for the spring test. And it's measuring to see if your child is actually growing within their grade level. So if your child has been in this school system for um, their whole school career, their scores will be on here for every map test they've ever taken. So this child's data shows kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and it goes up. So the fall 2023 score of sixth grade is the test that they just took. This child scored a 218, which is in the 68th percentile range. So I know the RIT score probably doesn't mean much to a parent, but you want to all obviously always want to see the numbers going up. I will say it is a um, very common thing to go from spring and then drop back for fall um, because of the summer and summer break. So that is very common. Um, you can also see your child's percentile and how they go up and down because obviously if the older they are, the higher it is that they're supposed to grow, the higher the RIT score is supposed to be, which means the percentile will also change. So I'm looking at a black and white printout of the MAP score, which is what is being sent home. We don't send home in color, but you can see it in color on the screen. And so yours shows your student's RIT, which on the video, it is in blue, but yours will be in the black on the um, printed handout. And you can see how your child compares to other students in our district and the norm grade level for all kids that take this test that are their age, okay? So you can see, if you look at the columns, the spring 22, fall 22, winter 23, spring 23, fall 23. So how your child did um, it looks like the last test of fourth grade, then all three fifth grade tests, and then the sixth grade test, which is the fall 23. Now, MAP is the one that sets the goals for your child. The teacher does not set the goal. And so this particular student is supposed to grow from a 218 in the fall to a 222 by the end of the school year, spring 24. They will take the test in the winter, and they are trying for that score as well. But by the end of the year, MAP says this child should grow four points. All right, so you can see what your child's projection is supposed to be. This is only for ELA. Math is completely different, and this um, video is not about math whatsoever. You can also see, based on what this child got, a 218 in the fall, that this child is projected to pass the end of grade test with a projected score of a 3. This is just based on fall data. In winter, it will change. So you can look at what your child got on the fall 23 test and see what they are projected to get on our end of grade EOG, which I think that's helpful information for parents. Um, students are tested in different categories. And so you can see there's five. It's literary text, key idea and details. The student scored very high in that category. And then informational text, key ideas and details. That's nonfiction. That's high average, vocabulary, average, uh, literary text, uh, language craft and structure average, and then another nonfiction language craft and structure. So teachers look at this data in depth and we look at what your child needs and we do things like IXL and a new format that we are rolling out soon, Beable, and that will support your child as well as their regular instruction in the classroom that we are working towards uh, growth every single day. So, um, just take a look at your data. Again, this is not about math. This is just ELA. Math has different categories and different project, but even the projections are different for math. But if you have any questions, just reach out to your child's teacher and they can explain it further. Hope this helps. Thank you.